Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, we're just going to have more of a play with the patterned paper that we've been making. Um, <laughs> you know, it's now getting a little bit boring probably for everybody, but um, just a couple more things that I wanted to try really. So, I thought what we do, we'll make some more pattern paper, just exactly the same really as we have been doing. Um, but this time, what I thought we could do is make some washi tape. So this is not my idea. Um, credit goes to Sue from Paper Inspirations. I just happened to stumble across a video that she'd done, um, I think about a year ago, and she was making um, washi tape from book pages. And it just looked so cool. So I couldn't wait to have a go really. And just happens, you know, that it was kind of coinciding when I was making the pattern paper. So you know, let's um, go for it and see what we can come up with. So again, I've bought in the same old, you know, bunch of stamps really. I have bought in my olive green stays on just so we've got something a little bit different going on. So again, I've got my huge indigo blue swirly stamp, which by the way, thank you so much. Several people have said to me that they have managed to buy or, you know, I don't know whether they have actually bought it, but they've certainly, they've seen this stamp. Um, I think on eBay uh, seemed to be the place that people were mentioning. So, you know, fantastic. You can still actually get it. And, you know, I mean, I, I use this stamp all the time. It's probably one of the best stamps that, you know, my, my best stamps. Um, you know, I just absolutely love it. So... You know, I'm not saying that everybody's going to, but I certainly really do love it. So, um, yeah, fantastic news that you can still actually get it. Then I'm just going to take some black and I've bought in another stamp here. This is um, from some from that Wish app. It's of Leonardo um, da Vinci, but obviously I don't really want his face, you know, because it would be cut into small pieces in the process of making this into washi tape so it kind of seems in bad taste so I'm just going to take the part that's got like the script and the um, postmark on it instead and just use that section so and again I've just gone randomly around that let me pop that back out of the way and then I'm just going to take this um, you know uh, sheet music and script We'll have a bit of that just, you know, dotted around in random places. Okay. And for some reason, I've done this completely the other way around to the last video where we did the embossing first. So, you know, I don't know why really, but it just, that's how it's panned out today. So um, I'm going to again take my Versamark you know, which is just that sticky, sticky t uh, type of stamp. And again, I'm just going to just randomly stamp around in one or two places. So, you know, hopefully then when you use the washi tape, you just have odd sections that were, you know, embossed and metallic. So I just thought that would be quite fun. So just clear that off of my desk and again I'm just going to then you know pop my embossing powder over the whole thing and then hopefully get all of the bits covered in the powder okay I'm just going to now dry that it looks really pretty like that actually in those colors I almost wish it wouldn't turn metallic but anyway I should be back in two seconds. Okay, so that's that one, which looks quite pretty, doesn't it? So I'm just going to pop that to one side, get rid of all this embossing powder, like that. Okay, pull that in. And then what I might have to do, I just can't kind of quite resist, is just do a completely black patterned one. Um, so I'm not going to emboss this one or anything. I'm just going to use my black stays on, you know, 
I'm hoping that this is going to just look super striking and just really, really lovely. So let's have a look. Days on and again I'm just you know going to take my favorite stamp just stamp all over the book page randomly around and then I will fill in gaps because obviously this is going to be for washi tape you know which obviously is quite tiny so if you've got tiny spaces they're going to then show up so I'm just going to pop that out of the way again I'll just take that sheet music and script and just fill in those spaces like that just because you know if you had those big spaces and then you cut a small piece of washi it's invariably that's going to show up isn't it Right, so that's those done. Excuse the hoover. Right, okie dokie. So I'm now going to just ink around this. So again, with my vintage photo, just check that I'm still videoing. I suddenly had this horrible thought, but perhaps I wasn't. So let me just pop that. Make it really nice, yummy, grungy. And obviously, you know, this kind of, um, what's the word? Inconsistency with the colouring is going to be awesome because obviously our washi tape is going to pick that up, you know, which is going to look really cool. So then I've got this one, which again, we'll just ink this up with the vintage photo. I mean, actually, that green, it doesn't really look particularly green now, does it? It's quite hard to actually see that it is green. It's taken on quite a grey effect, which is a shame because I was obviously hoping it was going to look really quite green. But um, anyway, hopefully it will look pretty still. So, OK. So this one, I might just fill in one or two more of the gaps because I feel like there are quite a few gaps gaps on here so I'll just take my sheet music with the green and just you know fill in one or two more of the gaps here you know because otherwise you're going to have really boring washi tape and nobody wants that do they so just fill in the gaps like that okay so that's my couple of pages for the washi and then I've just got here some sellotape brand um, double sided tape you know it doesn't probably matter about the brand but you want to go for something that's acid free because then obviously it's going to you know hopefully last and not discolour things and what have you so all I'm going to do is stick this so I'm not going to go down the whole page because we'll be here for ages so you know I'm just going to do this for the purposes of the video today and I'll do it on the black as well just to show you that you know a little bit is going to go oh that's two pages sorry a little bit's going to go quite a long way to be honest so you're just going to take your tape and then what I thought was, rather than be restricted to the thickness of the tape, if you butt your tape, you know, pretty much next to each other, like that, you know, across the whole size of your sheet. So, you know, I've obviously torn these down so that I'm not taking the whole day about this, in, you know, in the video. But you could obviously do it for the whole, you know, literally the whole size of the book page. So there's that one, and again, we'll just go across this one now, like that. Okay. And that 
on. Oops. I can now have crumpled that paper up slightly, which is not great. Oh well, never mind. I've obviously rushed that top bit and um, mucked it up slightly because I obviously haven't even got it next to each other for some reason. I, it's because I was thinking about um, Mod Podge at the same time as doing. Right, so all I'm going to do is trim off the bottom bit because that is slightly plain. So trim that off and then roughly how thick you want your washi tape, just trim it down. So, and obviously you've got the two pieces of tape that you can just then tear off. So if I just bring in, you know, a mock page, that would be your washi. And then you could obviously just, you know, tear it down to the size that you want it to be. So really, really, really pretty. And obviously, you know, you could keep this in your supplies. So in one of those plastic wallets or something, some of these ready to go with the double sided tape all over the back. And then when you come to use it, you just cut it down the width you want. And because you've butted the, um, you know, tape up against one another, if you wanted quite a thick piece of washi, more like a kind of parcel tape or a masking tape sort of size, you could cut it down obviously quite wide. So again, I'll just show you, you know, the black piece. So again, just trim that there, you know, and you could obviously have a small piece just there. You could obviously trim it down that side. You could have it you know, from that side. I mean, they're really nice, aren't they? Really um, effective. And these were a couple that I made just from some of the offcuts of the pieces that we did, you know, in another video with the embossing and the black. So again, I've just, obviously I've cut these down to, you know, a washi tape type size. Um, but just to kind of show you how they look, don't they look really nice? You know, so I think they're quite, um, you know, versatile and definitely super fun to make. So, and another way to use these lovely pattern pages that you can make from your old book pages. I mean, as I say, I cannot, you know, um, take credit for this, not my idea at all. Um, it was obviously Sue's, you know, from Paper Inspirations. But what a great idea, Sue. I really do love this idea. So, you know, really good idea and um, super fun. I mean, you could just even tuck a bit of lace behind and just pop a bit of your washi there. Um, but what I was actually thinking about just now, whilst I was then drifting off and then mucking up my pieces, was I just wondered whether you could just Mod Podge over it because, um, you know, washi tape is obviously, you know, normally kind of got a shiny finish so you know again, I'm just being super messy here and just doing this with my fingers but I just thought if you mod podged over it and again you know you wouldn't necessarily mod podge like this over your individual pieces you could obviously mod podge over an entire page worth Oops. Gosh. an entire page worth and um you know chop it down once it's dry and then you'd obviously have it with a sheeny surface. Now, obviously, that's not going to dry whilst I'm on film. Unless I quickly try and dry that. So hold on and bear with me for a moment. Okay, so I've just obviously dried that very quickly with the, um, you know, he uh, heat embossing tool, heat tool. Um, so that's to show you, you know, if I just stand up, show you the difference. So that's it, obviously, with the Mod Podge. And that's it, obviously, just oops, as the naked kind of book page. So, I mean, that does look now properly like a piece of a piece of washi tape um, because it is that same sort of glossy sort of effect, you know, whereas that's a kind of matte finish. So I think they're both really nice. But um, if you wanted it looking a little bit more like the stuff that you buy... You could just go over that with some Mod Podge. And as I say, you know, you could just obviously Mod Podge the entire sheet, stick all of your tape all across the back and then just store it in a plastic wallet and cut it, you know, as and when you needed. So, yeah, super fun and, you know, really quick and easy and just, you know, just a nice kind of project to do, you know, that just doesn't take too long and um, hopefully provides you with something a bit different to use in your journals. So thank you very much, Sue, for the 
awesome inspiration um and yeah check out her video i will link her below and um yeah hope that you like them so thanks very much for watching and i will see you all again soon thanks then bye